Yo, what up, what up, what up, yo, it's your boy, man, Big Body Cole, this shit right here is a, uh, oh, man, I gotta get that fixed, I gotta get a whole new hairline, I'm gonna just cut it the fuck off, man, go bald, man, my face fat, my head big, fuck it, man, I'm big body and shit, yo, this shit right here is BBP, y'all, this shit right here is a big body production, shout out to my man Leon Jones, 411 Talk Zone Radio, what up, nigga? Shout out to my man, I'm in Osiris and Deception Stoppers. Got a law. What up? Shout out to my mans and them from uh, Independent. You know who you are. Mark. Mark. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruff Ruff. <laughs> Mark Dark. <laughs> uh, shout out to my man, Earl the Pearl from Sacramento. My man, Marco from Indiana. Yo, I'm going to get into... Oh, shout out to the subscribers and shout out to the fucking haters, man. The ones that be having some fuck shit to say. Fuck you. Ah. Yo, I'm going to get right into this shit, though, man. I'm going to help you out, though, uh, ladies. Bitches. I'm going to help you all out, man. I'm going to help you all out, right? Because, you know, you got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of individuals out there that can't get it right or can't figure it out. You know, you got a lot of motherfuckers out there in their 30s and their 40s. Or they 40s going towards their 50s. And still in the dating game or wondering why. What's wrong with niggas? Or what's wrong with these bitches? And a lot of times it ain't even what's wrong with them. It's what's wrong with you. Because you know, for instance. You got. <laughs> I know of some. You got females for sure, for instance. Yeah, it'll be uh, every once in a while, oh, I'm in a relationship, uh, I'm working on something new, I ain't fucking around, it's me and him, and blah, 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 and yeah, 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 and then, you know, a couple weeks later, oh, man, fuck that nigga, that nigga was a shit, oh, well, I guess you was just another piece of pussy, or uh, I guess it was just some free dick, yeah, to find out that the free dick wasn't worth shit, you know what I mean? Then you got the motherfuckers that, uh... You got motherfuckers like myself. Now, 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 this is a kicker. You ready? This is some real nigga shit right here. You got niggas like myself that'll be like, yo, man, some of these chicks, modern day chicks, a lot of these modern day chicks, they just, they not making the cut. They not, nah, hell nah. Fuck, these bitches is just crazy, man. They fucking retarded. They dumb. They stupid. Don't know how to cook, clean. This is just fucking retarded, you know? But you know, I understand. I've been through some shit where... <laughs> <laughs> I've been through some shit where I fuck niggas' wives and watch the wives go home to their husbands or see them with their husbands in public. Like, what the fuck? I've fucked around with these young bitches that do some of the dumbest shit just to get a bag of weed or some perks. I'd fucked with chicks that just fucking just to be fucking. I've done some shit out there that just makes absolutely no sense with some of these chicks to where it puts me in the mind frame like, yo, these bitches ain't shit. And, you know, hey, I have the right to feel like that. I do. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I did do some shit. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there is some good women out there. Hey, I, at this point, I don't give a fuck where they at. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm setting my ways to where, you know, hey. It's going to be what it's going to be, you know? I'm waiting for the fucking rabbit to fall out the hat, man. But then you also got those <laughs> individuals that they got dark, dirty, secret past behind them. And they actually confide and share it with a motherfucker about some of their shit. And then they expect the nigga to want to take them serious and be in a relationship with them when it's like, okay, for example, I know an individual. I know an individual clearly that can't handle pressure. And when she gets like having doubts and insecurities in her mind, she'll take it upon herself to go fuck with another nigga while she's still dealing with the name the main nigga that she's having them doubts and insecurities about. It's just cause she that's that's her outlet. She likes to fuck. So then when you share this type of shit with a motherfucker that you want to take serious, that you want for you, how the fuck you expect that nigga to take you serious? It's just like, how you want me to, how you want me to, you know, you done suck the mailman's dick, the milkman's dick, the UPS and the Amazon man's dick all on a Sunday. 
and you want me to take you serious on a Monday or just at all? You're a dick sucker. You like to suck the fucking delivery dick. So come on, let's be for real. I, a man cannot take something serious that has a crazy history. I mean, it's one thing if you got a pass and you put it behind you and you're actually growing and moving forward. But when you have this repetitive, trifling, hoish, childish behavior, which is... It's funny I say it like that because, I mean, it's childish, but it, it's, it's sometimes it's just an outlet for some people. You know, like, who who doesn't like to wake up in the morning to a good old dick suck or a nice old nut? I would love to wake up just to bust a nut, go back to sleep for 30 minutes, hit the snooze button, get another 15 minutes, and then get my ass up and get ready for work. But we all can't. We all have our own ways of having our outs. So, you know, hey, some people have their outs in ways that just don't sit well with each other but when you expect a motherfucker to really want to take you serious after you done did some shit and share some shit with that person and you still kind of carry them traits and characteristics on currently or you show a change of pattern in your behavior like for example I know this chick you know I'm a, I ain't gonna throw her name out there cause you know I still currently uh, you know deal with her on and off kind of sort of like you know it's hard it's complicated but i know this chick she has a nice little uppity sex drive she sucks i mean you know and uh you know what i mean all that good shit you know what i mean so i know this we could be outside chit chatting in the rain i could bend her over the fence and stab her right up in the, right between the legs bam and it's nothing you know what i mean I can motherfucker recline the seats back in the car, throw one of her legs on a motherfucker's shoulder, throw the other one up in the wherever the fuck this open room at, and you know, lick, lick her uh, chocolate drop. But you know, I'm just saying, like it, it go down anywhere. So when she start doing shit like hold out on the pussy for weeks at a time, or acting like she don't want to be bothered, when I know where your sex drive is at, then like any man, we want to begin to believe. Okay, bitch, who are you fucking? Who dick you sucking? Who the fuck, who the fuck you out here doing? Because you wasn't acting like this before, and I ain't been known you. I know how you get down. So when you start doing different shit that, that you ain't normally used to doing, I'm in, I'm under the belief that you, I don't give a fuck if you got a goddamn cramp in your ass. Bitch, you fuck on any given second. And don't hit me with them on my period shit, because niggas run red lights. Yes, they do. So don't hit me with them on my period shit. See, when, you, when, you, when you, you got that type of rapport with somebody and then they start doing different shit. Like, if I was to start holding back on the dick from her knowing that and she know like, I like the fuck. If I stop licking the pussy and she know I like the lick pussy, she gonna look at me kind of crazy like, yo, what's up, nigga? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, like, and I use my example for just a generalized statement. Like, you can't be out here trying to switch your style up and expect the same results from a nigga. And niggas too, you can't be out there, you can't be on that shit as well. But and ladies, y'all can't be out here, you know, with these skeletons of dark, dirty secrets in the closet, you're having this these crazy past behind you and expecting a motherfucker to take you serious, but then you wanna switch up your behaviors and styles on some shit the last second. Nah, niggas not gonna take you serious. And niggas not. Niggas not. Now if you want some show and change like you ain't like about that life no more, you put that behind cause I get it. Everybody got a pass. Everybody done licked the clit and sucked the dick once or two many times in their fucking life. So it is what the fuck it is. I get it. But you know, when people mature and evolve, so it is what it is. But if you still off that whole shit, how the fuck you expect a nigga to take you serious? Seriously. You can't. You can't. Because one thing for sure, two things for certain about a man. Even if you out here sucking and fucking the whole block. Long as that nigga don't know or feel like you're his only... And his main and one and only, everything's going to be all right. But when a nigga start hearing some shit or knowing some shit or feeling some shit ain't right within his hut, oh, bitch, you got to go or you just going to be put up in the bullpen with the rest of the lineup. It's just That's just how it's going down. And, hey, I might have gave out a little too much information, but I did you motherfuckers a favor. If you don't like what I'm saying, oh, well, don't, don't click on to me. Don't watch me. Don't listen to me. But if you like what you hear, you like, you see, you like what's going on, like, share, subscribe, and, you know, stay tuned. It's your boy, Matt Big Body Cole. Like, this shit right here is a BBP. Later, y'all.